Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam Lewis. You're watching Adam Lewis TV, where we bring you up to date cryptocurrency news. We search the web so you don't have to. If you love this t shirt in crypto, we trust you can get crypto t shirts in the description box. Click that show more, it'll expand, and you can buy cryptocurrency t shirts and stock t shirts, funny memes, everything right from Amazon. If you're a Prime member, you order it today, you'll get it tomorrow. Check it out in the links below. Okay, let's get right to it. Top story, market wrap, Bitcoin expected to rise on taproot upgrade. Some analysts expect a price rise as the Bitcoin network receives the most significant upgrade since 2017. This is big news. Cryptocurrencies were mostly lower on Friday after buying failed to sustain the all-time price highs reached in Bitcoin and Ether earlier this week. Analysts expect trading activity to advance next week following the Bitcoin taproot upgrade which aims to improve privacy and efficiency on the blockchain network. Bulls may have some power left to push the market higher. As a result of the Taproot upgrade, Lucas uh, Conrad, chief produce product officer at Bitpanda, wrote in an email to Coindesk. The upgrade is expected to be implemented in the next few days, although other analysts expect minimal impact on Bitcoin's price. It's possible for some investors have entered long positions ahead of the taproot upgrade, given BTC's nearly 30% gain over the past few months. And if you're into Bitcoin, let me know in the comment section below. I'm very interested in creating a dialogue with you. In the meantime, traders are looking beyond Bitcoin for additional profit opportunities, albeit after a possible price correction. Bitcoin's chart has likely become too noisy to remain a reliable indicator of the crypto market, conceding that role to either Alex or an analyst at FX Pro uh, wrote an email to Coindesk, rather. If so, a break to the strong uptrend could prove to be the first signal of a correction, which would encourage buying on dips, he wrote. Interesting. Very interesting. Latest price is Bitcoin right now at about 64000 192. It's down about 0.97%. Ether down a little bit, 4,673. The S&P 500 at 4,682. And gold is still sitting at about $1,800 right there. So as Bitcoin realized volatility is slowly drifting back toward a one-year low, according to options data, tra uh, data provider SKU, the chart below shows a persistent decline in volatility since May which was when BTC entered a bear market. So with these upgrades and such like that, basically what they're saying is no big deal. You know, you got, you got coins like Ethereum and, and, and lots other that we will be discussing on the channel that are, you know, kind of rivaling Bitcoin in speed and lower costs. Uh, so if you want to get involved and check out some other videos that I'll be doing on that, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe with notifications, and always leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Ether pulled back expected. Ether, the world's second largest crypto by market capitalization, could face a pullback towards 4,000 to 4,200 support zone. Technical indicators show initial signs of upside exhaustion after Ether reached an all-time high price around 4,800 earlier this week. It's been rallying pretty strong. Ether is, about, uh, is up about 3% over the past week compared with a 4% rise in Bitcoin over the same period. The chart below shows a slight drop of Ether Bitcoin price ratio this month, although the downside appears to be limited towards 0 0.067 support level. You can take a look at that at your leisure. Additionally, blockchain data shows Ether's active addresses and trading volume have decoupled from rising prices, which could indicate scope for a pullback in Ether. So take that into consideration. Might be buying the dip soon if you want. Here's a little altcoin, altcoin roundup rather. OMG tanks over 25% as exchanges see record inflows. OMG is the native token of the OMG network layer 2 scaling protocol for Ethereum. Crashed on Friday, Coindesk's Oscar Godball reported. The cryptocurrency, which promises faster and cheaper transactions, fell 27% rather to $12.70 in what appeared to be a classic sell the fact. So basically, you know, they have a problem, it starts crashing. 
Binance freezes Doge. This is interesting. Uh, they, they froze uh, Doge withdrawals. The largest cryptocurrency exchange, Binance, temporarily suspended withdrawals of Doge due to minor issues that, occup- that, that occurred following an upgrade. Coindesk's Shen and Anna Beidova, I'm hoping that's the way you pronounce that. Some users experienced significant problems after the update claimed the exchange first initiated the withdrawal of Dogecoin without their consent and now is asking them to return the Doge they don't have in their accounts. Thanks, Binance. If you had a problem with that, let me know in the comments section below if you were affected by that at all. And here's some more news. Will Decentraland dominate the metaverse? Coin Bureau updates price prediction after altcoins massive breakout. So let's talk about Decentraland mana a little bit. The, the pseudonym's host of crypto outlet Coin Bureau is sharing price analysis on altcoin MANA, the native token of virtual gaming world Decentraland. In a new video, the analyst known as Guy tells his 1.81 million YouTube subscribers why MANA is holding firm despite what he calls an unsustainable rally. After Facebook's recent meta rebranding announcement sent many metaverse related cryptos soaring. The analyst lays out several key factors as to why the token is maintaining price strength. First, the rest of the crypto market continues to rally. Most importantly, Bitcoin dominance has been on the decline, meaning money is moving into altcoins such as MANA. I will be doing a MANA video shortly and to Centraland, so make sure you subscribe with notifications and you'll be notified as soon as that comes up. The amount of money being held in Decentraland's Grayscale Trust has more than doubled since March of this year. This suggests there is significant institutional demand for Decentraland. Again, Decentraland and MANA, video coming up, please subscribe to the channel. The analyst also highlights trading of non-fungible tokens, aka NFTs, virtual events, and the game's decentralized gambling casinos as sources of the project's strength. According to the project website, Decentraland is the first ever virtual world owned by its users. Key factor there, owned by its users. Decentraland is controlled via the DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization, which owns the most important smart contracts and assets of Decentraland. The land contract, the estate contracts, wearables, content servers, and the marketplace. Guy next dives into Decentraland's proposed idea of achieving interoperability with other metaverses, which he calls a game changer. It seeks to make Decentraland's metaverse interoperable with at least four other crypto metaverse worlds. This will be done using an advanced protocol called IPSME. No dates have been detailed for this particular proposal, but it will be a game changer for metaverse cryptocurrencies if it delivers on its promises. Guy then then wraps up discussing how his initial doubt towards the project had softened over time. When I first heard of Decentraland, I remember being skeptical if it would get get any traction. After all, who needs a virtual world when you have the real world? As time goes on, though, it's becoming clear that there is value in both. This was evident long before Facebook's rebranded to Meta. And it's something that nobody really noticed until Facebook put the metaverse on stage. The crazy thing is that Decentraland is still in its infancy, even though it's one of the oldest metaverse projects out there. It's amazing to see that development continues despite all the problems the project has experienced publicly and behind the scenes. It's certainly headed in the right direction. And even though MANA might be overvalued relative to Decentraland's fundamentals today, this probably won't be the case tomorrow. MANA is currently trading at $3.20. It is up 23% on the day, but down from the all-time high of $4.91. It achieved in October 30th. I'm sure your world will not be complete with a little wonderful AMC news. So here it is. AMC theaters start accepting cryptocurrency payments for movie tickets. AMC announced back in August that it will start accepting cryptocurrency by the end of the year. Now, company CEO Adam Aaron has revealed on Twitter that you can already use your digital coins to purchase movie tickets. And true to the promise he made in September, AMC isn't only accepting Bitcoin, but also Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. 
for online purchases. Aaron also said the, the theater chain has started accepting Apple Pay, Google Pay, and PayPal payments as well. This is great news for the fundamentals of Apple, or I'm sorry, of AMC. Now, I'll also be doing a um, video on Bitcoin Cash very soon, probably this weekend. So again, please subscribe to the channel with notifications. Down here, we go on to say, it sounds like moviegoers are welcoming the new payment methods with open arms, since it apparently already accounts for 14% of the company's total online transactions. Aaron also said that AMC will be adding Dogecoin next. Amazing. AMC almost went bankrupt due to the pandemic last year, but it was saved in part thanks to an army of day traders, you know, us apes, on Reddit and Twitter that sent its stock soaring by around 2,300%. Aaron fully embraces the company's status as a meme stock and told investors in an earnings call earlier this month that AMC is exploring the creation of its own cryptocurrency. AMC plans to make a foray in the world of NFTs as well, and it's in talks with Hollywood Studios to create non-fungible tokens related to major films. Massive news. During the call, Aaron said that the theater chain is also looking into accepting Shiba Inu tokens, but he has yet to announce if it can add the cryptocurrency to its payment options. So that's the news for today, Saturday, November 13th, 2021. Let me know what you think. Let me know how I did. Suggestions, comments, complaints in the description, or I'm sorry, in the comment section, please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Smash that like button. Check out the description box. Have yourself a blessed day. God bless.